Season 1 of The Elusive Samurai has come to an end and I am disappointed in myself. Oh my god. Suwa freaking Yoshige. The shady freaking priest. He won. And all it took was him losing that unflattering hat and wearing his hair down. And do not even mention that whatever it was in episode 12. Oh my god. Hi, I'm Fade and you're watching yet another one of my breakdowns thanks to this anime. There's nothing quite as catastrophic as developing a crush on a fictional man and finding out dude has a whole ass grown ass son? Alright listen, there's nothing wrong with folks having children. Him having a son? Not an issue. The issue is with the way they introduce them like they just showed this guy with a name tag that says son of Yurishige. Like hold on, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Don't just drop something like that and act like nothing happened. Like next thing we know, they show some girl and be like wife of Yurishige. Like <laughs> to prove to you that I'm not that crazy. <laughs> Let me bring to your attention the latest inductees to this show's crazy characters hall of fame. Folks were introduced in the second half whose lunacy made their predecessors pale in comparison. The only exception being not Yurishige is my bone out. The former employee purchasing his avant-garde artworks and secretly destroying them doesn't cut it anymore. His little brother needs to take away his paintbrush and hand him his peel. Stop it. Get some help. Madmen galore and the horrors persist, but so does our hero, facing this mad world together with his party of trusted fellas. Absolutely love the new edition. Y'all, teenage love stories hit different. Fuki and food peak romance. Alright, this show got me a bit worried at first. Not anymore. The elusive shrimp's offensive butt is safe with the elusive warriors, and all that's left is for the second season to be announced. Season 2 when? Ha 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 ha!